I'm looking for one book. I'm looking for a book from a guy called Hans Domitzlaff. He is the inventor of what we know as marketing today. And he's known for explaining why there is a difference between commercials, like Reklame in Deutsch, and branding, marketing, like an actual brand. And this guy is describing the process of marketing and how important the brand is, but he's also a self-taught painter and designer, and he designed brands like Siemens, the old Siemens brand, Rinsma back then. And I read that book and I was fascinated because I understood how important brand can be. And I wanted to show you the book, but I cannot find it. And um, I would say, let's talk about the importance of a brand, even if you're a small consulting company like we are. And usually this is a topic where you like never have time for investing in the brand, designing a brand, like making sure that you actually own the brand. So I want to give you a little bit of insight about what we did with Blackboat in the last 10 years, actually, and how it started. Oh, Yannick, I can show you the very old PowerPoint designs I did. Blackboat history. So Blackboat, it's called Blackboat for a reason. There is a video we made about it, it's here. And I remember I was in Canada visiting my good friend Chris and um, we went on a weekend trip to Kelowna and I was laying on the grass and thinking about what Blackboard should be and how it should look like and I'm trying to find that presentation. It was 2011, I think. Oh my goodness. But you didn't do some drawing by yourself. I did it by myself in PowerPoint. It's <laughs> the worst thing you can actually do. So the first one I designed myself in, uh, in PowerPoint. And then we came to like a good friend of mine, Olivier. Um, I made a Google video with him and Olivier owns Enigma, an agency in Geneva. And I would still say he's like one of the best agencies for brands. And he came up when I said, this is my MacBook Pro that I usually DJ with. And he came up and said, um, when we were talking about what Blackboard is doing, I said, we are like, uh, like we, we had the claim that we would help leaders to run and grow their companies without having a heart attack. So we're good for your operations because I was known for like efficient operations. And he said, you're like the pill, the magic pill for the operations. And then we had this design here, which is then the B and the B, and it looks like pills. And um, since he also used the claim email, email is 90s, he used the pill design and went further with it. Oh, here we go. And he had a freaking good guy using certain stuff of paper and then designing these little boxes with the font logo that we were using. He came up with that one here, Blackboat. And you would use cards we support leaders to run and grow their companies without having a heart attack, that's it. With a pill on the back, email is 90s. And you would have that in this little box and give that as your business card. The magic pill for your operations. And I really love that. And we had that for actually 10 years. And um, since branding, as I said, is not really priority in many cases, we just let it go. Also with a website, I was always believing, said like, you don't need a website in the, in the, in the year 2000, 10, 12, 11, I, I don't believe in that. I think simple stuff is better. So we always had a very, very, very lean website. But of course, now we are growing. We have much bigger clients. We have much more customers um, and more people. And you definitely see that a brand is also kind of an identity and everyone working at Blackboard is driven by the purpose. The purpose for new work and how new work can change everything. But we're still focused on the operations when it comes to internal collaboration. That's still our main focus. So we thought like, why don't we like start a redesign? And Thomas of, out of a like tech group 
actually said he wants to like lead that task unit and, and help and support and of course to me this is a, a top leader task so everyone in the leadership team has to be involved and in the end one has to make the decision. So here's the new Blackboard brand and the story behind the brand. And um, before I show it to you, I maybe explain how it evolves. So we didn't do it this time with Enigma, but with a friend from Thomas. And we, I wasn't happy with the first ideas that they came up with. I thought it was like a redesign. I'm always looking at the core. What is the core idea, like with the magic pill for the operations? And we evolved throughout the last 10 years more into this new work group working with everything that helps to make people stronger by good work and making work better. We do it by improving collaboration. At the center of our attention are people. And um, when I challenged the first pitch and the design, they came back to me with the concept of Bauhaus. This is the Bauhaus. This building was briefly home to one of the 20th century's most influential centers for design. The ideas born in these classrooms have spread across the world, influencing everything from the design of home furniture to buildings to cities. So if you see different styles of Bauhaus, you can recognize it. And it's great design. But that wasn't his point. When they presented it to me, he said that, and I, I read myself while we were in the presentation about the Bauhaus concept on Wikipedia. There was one sentence that struck me saying that one of the ideas was that industrial design was a design that did not have the human being in the center of attention. And Bauhaus initially wanted to bring the human into the center of the design. The school wanted really to push in, in the way how they educated the students that design is and art is meaningful for the societies. That, you know, with the things you make, you might have been also the capacity to transform society. This is the same with new work. We have the feeling that work was designed now to make processes efficient and lean and, and like we are more users than actually contributors to many processes that we have. And new work is bringing back this focus attention to like the, the, the people are at the center of this idea. And with that core, they run back to the drawing board and came then back with one idea. And the presentation just started with a line. And this line then evolved in five lines. And this in the middle then went a bit shorter and then it went to the side. And then you kind of had the B for Blackboard. Designed in a way how simple the Bauhaus design was and very lean, very efficient, very clear. And even if it looks super simple, the connection to the Bauhaus idea and like to make it the human, the center of attention, gave the, the idea for the brand so much strength that we are really proud. And then Thomas took it to the next level and actually made sure we have this brand here. Just like an ocean, it's deep and it's open. The one thing I promise, I always be honest. It's an old devotion. If you keep things open, if you never follow me, then you let me be free. So you have a very simple line, evolving into five, staying inside, and then we have a little bit new font, but a, a bit wider, a bit uh, thicker. And you can say, oh, that's simple, it's not nothing fancy, but for us, this is the story behind the new brand. And I can tell you now from the experience, if you say, I don't want to invest in that, that doesn't make sense, the team loves it. And, and you can really see how it brings everyone together. So the process itself is important, not just the result, but the process itself, and then showing something, giving the story, sharing the story. And that's to me the power of a good brand. So this is what Blackboard looks like. And the cool thing is we use that element for the Christoph Magnussen brand, so we twist it. It stands up top right. We will kind of bring on the way to new work and also Streamforce One to the same similar style of branding. It's all human focused connected, so it connects the idea of Bauhaus building something from the same similar design 
and connecting everything, but also keeping human in the center of what we call our new brand. Thanks guys for watching. I don't know if that was interesting to you, but that's the idea behind it. Make sure you subscribe. Watch another video here. See you guys next week.